Right, so exercise 4C continues from 4B. So we're completing the square, but now we're going one step further. We're trying to solve by using completing the square, which is what the quadratic formula does when it solves things. So first one, x squared plus 6x minus 7 equals 0. So we're going to start off completing the square as normal. Remember, ignore the 7 for now. So you get x plus b over 2 is 6 over 2, which is 3, minus 3 squared minus 7, and we've got to keep the equal 0 there. So x plus 3 squared minus 9 minus 7 equals 0. Minus 9 and minus 7 together are going to give us minus 16. And here's where it gets different. So we finished completing the square, but now we have this equals 0. So all we're going to do is we're going to add the 16 square root and then subtract the 3 to get an answer for our x values. So x plus 3 squared equals 16, so I've added that onto that side. Square root both sides, so x plus 3 is plus or minus 4, because when we square root something, we've got to have positive or negative. And now we're going to subtract the 3. So we get x equals minus 3 plus or minus 4. So x equals minus 3 plus 4 would be 1, or minus 3 minus 4 is minus 7. Right, two more like this. So, um, question two, x squared minus 2x minus 3 equals 0. So complete square on this bit, ignore that bit. So x minus 1 squared minus 1 squared minus 3 equals 0. x minus 1 squared, take 1, take 3. 0, so x minus 1 squared minus 4 equals 0. Now we're going to solve it by rearranging to get x on its own. x minus 1 squared equals 4. Square root both sides. x minus 1 equals plus or minus 2. I can draw a 2. There you go. And add 1 to both sides. So we get x equals 1 plus or minus 2. So x equals 1 plus 2 is 3. Or x equals 1 minus 2 is minus 1. Cool. Last one then. So x squared plus 5x equals minus 6. So we can complete the square on this and then start rearranging it. We'll just leave the 6 where it is now. It's in quite a convenient place anyway. So we get x plus b over 2, 5 over 2. Leave it as a fraction. Squared minus... 5 over 2 all squared equals minus 6. Now we just need to simplify this. So again, square the tops, square the bottoms. So x plus 5 over 2 squared minus 25 over 4 equals minus 6. Now we're going to add 25 over 4 to this side. So x plus 5 over 2 squared equals minus 6 plus 25 over 4. Now, to add these together for that calculator, which is what we want to do, we need to find out how many quarters 6 represents. So I know 1 is 4 quarters, therefore 6 is going to be 24 quarters. So we've got minus 24 over 4, plus 25 over 4, which is going to leave us with 1 quarter. So I need a bit more space, don't I? Um, Let's just get rid of all this. So we get x plus 5 over 2 squared equals 1 quarter is what we said these turned into. So now we just need to solve this. So we're going to square root both sides again. So x plus 5 over 2 equals plus or minus a half because we square root the top and square root the bottom. Then we're going to take 5 over 2 from each side. So x is minus 5 over 2 plus or minus 1 half. So minus 5 over 2 plus a half is going to be minus 4 over 2, which is minus 2. Or we get x is minus 5 over 2, take a half, which is going to be minus 6 over 2, which is minus 3. So x is minus 2 or minus 3.